How would you like to wake up and look just as fresh and wide-eyed as you did before you took off your makeup last night? How about making that look permanent? Well, today we learn more about permanent cosmetics and how to make sure your eye tattoos are safe. Manja, manja, we're in the kitchen cooking Italian from lasagna to tiramisu to butter cookies. We have you covered. There's a lot of fun to be had this weekend along the Delaware shore for adults, kids, and of course, the dogs. Coming up, we give you a preview of the 24th annual Sea Witch Festival. And the Stims are here to perform. Dumb Arbor Life starts right now. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. Well, when it comes to celebrating Halloween here on Delmarva, there is one event that everyone knows very well. Mm -hmm. The annual Sea Witch Festival, which starts today and runs through Sunday. Brian Spiros is in Rehoboth Beach this afternoon, joining him, his beloved Black Lab Keeley. What's up, Brian? Yes, Jimmy and Lisa, it is true. Keely is with me right now. Um, she's looking in the other direction because there's a dog nearby and she's lost her bee antlers as well. So she's a mess right now, but we'll get to Keely in just a moment and why she's here with me. But first, I want to introduce you to Carol Everhart, who is the president of the Rehoboth Beach Dewey Beach Chamber of Commerce. So the first thing, Carol, you know, this event this weekend is the very definition of what Halloween is all about, fun. If you had to give a summation, what is going to be taking place today through Sunday? Well, it might be hard to summarize over 100 activities, but I can certainly uh, point out a few of the favorites, everything from a costume parade, broom tossing contest, sea witch hunt, horse parade on the beach, trick or treating, um, uh, entertainment on the bandstand, so, it's just fun filled. So many different things. One of the things specifically that's a big draw that's gonna be taking place tomorrow, the costume parade. Tell us about that and what people need to know if they wanna take part. Well, as far as motorized or floats, that is full. They have pre-registered and that is full. But anyone in costume who wants to walk in the parade just goes to convention hall at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and the parade will step off at 11 a.m. And people can come out dressed up and just ready to have fun. Ready to have fun. And there's so much to choose from. They're, oh. they're, they're, everyone will have fun. All right. So we talked about the humans. Now we got to talk about the dog. Sunday, there's the dog parade. And Keely is already dressed up for it, as <laughs> we can say. She's still focused on the dog that's nearby. <laughs> But you guys encourage people to come out, dress up the animals, and it's going to be a parade along the boardwalk. Tell us about it. Right. Every dog has his day. And for our area, dogs and visiting dogs, it will be Sunday. They register on the boardwalk down near the Henlopen Hotel, and the parade will go down the boardwalk around the first block up first street and end up right here at the bandstand so obviously people can have fun with their animals and i want to show keel again how does she look is she dressed for the parade she she, she, she did lose her her, her little uh yeah, bee antennas yeah, there she, but, yeah. but the rest of her looks good she she is rocking all right rocking <laughs> see keely you hear that as i mentioned this is the 24th annual sea witch festival what makes it so popular every year i think because there's so many activities because we keep the things that are so popular and we upgrade the things that have become old over the years and uh, there's just something for every age group families I have returning families year after year after year so a lot of fun to be had and we should mention last year Hurricane Sandy put a damper on things <laughs> this weekend look it's looking like good weather but you guys in your schedule have basically made arrangements in case there is any rain that's right it either says it's weather dependent or it gives the rain location and date all right you guys have thought it all out Carol thank you so much we really appreciate appreciate it a lot of fun to be had this weekend here in Rehoboth Beach and in Dewey Beach and as Carol just mentioned there are more than a hundred things going on over the next few days so to make it simple we put all that information on our website just go to delmarvalife.com and all you have to do is click on the show tab so jimmy and lisa i'm going to stay here with keely a little bit later we'll see you guys later on in the show and uh this will keep you around keely's going to have a costume change so we'll see you guys a little later i know this is it's going to keep you around <laughs> a wardrobe change a for wardrobe keely. change for keely and speaking of adorable dogs yeah. i want you to take a look at this picture this is max uh -huh. the cowboy <laughs> he is one of about 100 dogs at safe haven animal sanctuary in sussex county now safe haven you know has had some financial problems and the the shelter's future is uncertain the american society for the prevention of cruelty to animals is helping by providing sheltering professionals to assist in the daily care of the dogs that they have there at the shelter. But 
you can help. Safe Haven is holding a Halloween adoption event. It's tomorrow at the shelter on Shingle Point Road in Georgetown. It's from 1 to 4 p.m. And if you'd like some more information, there's a number 302-856-6460. And like Brian said, he's coming back a little later in the show and he's going to show us some other adorable animals that yes. are up for adoption. And I'll tell you what, I, I could not be more happy with the rescues that we have taken home. Mm -hmm. Wonderful dogs. If you haven't, you need to think about it. Right. Okay, so a little bit chilly. Yeah. <laughs> acting like almost November. Uh, but actually, all that because the weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little chilly. That's all. So all that means is you got to put your gloves on to ride your motorcycle. Okay, get it? <laughs> Here's the deal. There's one coming up this weekend to benefit the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, where they work to find cures for childhood cancer, and no family ever pays. I want to look at this picture real quick. Uh, this is from St. Jude. This is called their No More Chemo Party. When one of the kids comes off chemo. Aww. They have a party and the nurses sing to them. Oh anyway, okay, I just want you to know how special uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is. Now, it was originally scheduled last weekend, but because of bad weather, they moved the ride to this Sunday. It starts at White Marlin Mall on Route 50 in West Ocean City. Now, the registration's at 10 o'clock in the morning, kickstands up at 1130. First 200 registered receive a commemorative ride t-shirt. The ride ends in Rehoboth for complimentary lunch music, door prizes, and a whole bunch more. Mm. And we'll have lunch there in Rehoboth as well. So uh, be sure to go out, have a good time. The weather is going to be gorgeous, a little chilly, and that's all. Just call it crisp. Crisp. It's going to be a little crisp. Also this weekend, the annual Special Olympics Delaware Fall Sports Festival. Actually, that's next weekend. Right. A round robin tournament in uh, Bochi. Flag football, soccer, and volleyball. I, I knew I'd say it wrong. It's bocce. Bocce, yeah. bocce. <laughs> it's going to take place at the University of Delaware. More than 800 or more than 680 Special Olympic athletes and unified partners, peers without a disability from across the state, are set to compete. A great, great time. If you'd like some more information, call Special Olympics. Here's the number 302 831 3484. And these guys and girls are awesome. Yes. You know, one of the guests that we've had uh, before on the show has been Mike Lewis, who is the Wicomico County Sheriff. Oh, yeah, he's okay. been on a couple times. Um, I, this is something fascinating to me. He was driving to work yesterday morning and he sees this minivan that's driving a little too close to a box truck. So he pulls it over and says, eh, don't do this. Guess what else he did? Take a look at this. Um, he discovered in this minivan that if you turn the ignition on, the passenger seat heat high, the driver's seat heat low, and wave a magnet, that chair right there closest to you lifts up and you find an empty void in the bottom of the van where mm. you found $46,000. Oh my goodness. How do you know that? Uh, it turns out the driver is, let me see if I get this right, the driver is from Allentown, the passenger is from the Bronx, the van was registered to a lady in Philly, <laughs> you know how he knew that? It's his job to it's know what he that. Does. That's what he does. <laughs> 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 a little radar going around. That's absolutely amazing. Well, it amazing. looks like uh, fewer people are being pulled over for uh, not wearing their seat belts in Delaware, especially Kent and Sussex County. According to a 2013 survey done by the Office of Highway Safety, 92% of Kent County drivers were observed using their seat belts, and that's actually up from 79% in 2012. Sussex County also saw an increase, jumping from 90% to 93%, and the statewide number is actually actually 92 percent. Now that is important because if their numbers are above 90 percent, mm -hmm. they are more eligible for federal highway safety money. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so good job. You're doing good well. Good job, people Give yourself a hand. Delaware. Well done. <laughs> um, hunting season is here. No secret to anybody. Uh, we want to make a point, though, of telling you about a three-part series on hunter's safety that's on Outdoors Del Marva. Mm -hmm. um, this weekend show is devoted to tree stand safety. Uh, Captain Willie is going to talk with Rick Morris of the Maryland Natural Resources Police. And he's going to demonstrate the need for a full body safety harness to keep hunters from falling. I think there was one that recently fell yes, from a, a tragically, homemade stand. Yeah, tragically, yeah, 96 year old. Yeah, or so 76 year old, I'm 76 sorry. Year old. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a really timely thing. They're also going to look at various types of tree stands. Outdoors Delmarva, it's going to be Saturday on WBOC, 7.30 in the evening, again at 11.30, then on Fox 21 Sunday at 11.30 in the morning. Yeah, I don't know if you remember when I did the story on the, the fellow who was playing wheelchair lacrosse. That's how he right. broke his back, was, was falling out of a tree stand. I didn't That's right. That. Hmm. Well, we have good news and bad news. And Can we for, start with the good news? I, we have a fly yeah, in here. That's, that's the bad news. <laughs> that's the, the bad news. No, <laughs> the good news is the U.S. Navy Blue Angels are back in the sky. Yes, I yes know they you're are. happy about I'm that. I'm very happy about that. The bad news, they're not coming to Ocean City 
anytime no. soon. Yeah, ah. apparently the Pentagon announced this week uh, that it was reinstating the Blue Angels and the Air Force Thunderbirds and all of the other uh, military demonstration units after grounding the teams during that sequestration. Haven't right. said that word in a while. <laughs> uh, that meant the Blue Angels, Angels were unable to honor their appearance that they were supposed to make in Ocean City earlier this year. Right. Well, you would think they'd come back next year, but apparently they do the schedules two, two year sets. So, so they're already blocked out. Yeah, 2014 is already blocked out and Ocean City's not in it. So let's keep our fingers crossed for 2015. Well, there's more good news to tack onto that good news and bad news. Okay. Is these guys in Ocean City are absolutely phenomenal at coming up with terrific acts. That's true. So whatever you go see, it is going to be well worth the time. It's going to be wonderful. Okay. Um, Shallow Elementary, you know where that is, just yeah. north of Ocean Pines. Right. Um, it looks like they may finally, eventually, get their facelift. Uh, Worcester County has been working on their high schools. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, uh, they did Stephen Decatur, uh, they did Pocomoke. I think Snow Hill is supposed to start in January. Well, because of the growth of Ocean Pines over the s last several decades, they're finally going to work on Shallow Elementary. Good. Did you know, I didn't know this, did you know they don't even have fourth graders there because there's not enough room. They have to ship them to Berlin. Really? To no, have I did not know that. There was an entire grade that was in classrooms outside the building. So. Huh. Hopefully that's going to get done here pretty soon, eventually. Yeah. Um, you know those little things that parking garages where you have to put the money in before the little gate goes up? Have you ever had one of these days where you've just pulled up and you're like, Too okay, far away. get my money here and uh, yeah. reach over and put it in? Oh, darn. So you try again. Okay, I'll pull over here just a little bit closer then we'll be out of it. Oh, darn. All right, look, I'll get a little <laughs> bit closer here. I'll be sure. To, oh, darn. Oh. All right, look, I'm going to pull this thing over here where I can pull it in. There and we go. Bang. Ah, well, she got through. <laughs> See, if you just done that in the first place, it would have been so much better. Still ahead on Delmarva Life. You know, many of us women won't go out of the door without our makeup, but it takes time to put on. And at night, you have to take it off. You have to take all that time to take it off. Well, we're going to tell you about permanent cosmetics from eyeliner to eyebrows. It's there all the time. Plus, we're going to find out how the same technique can help make scars less visible. We are going to check in with Chef Michael Angelo and his mama, experts at Italian cooking. They're going to show us how to put together an authentic Italian meal that's going to make your mama proud. Then we're headed to our kitchen because Lisa is going to show us how to put together an Italian treat the entire family is going to love. And speaking of family, we're going to introduce you to a few cats and dogs that would love for you to call them <laughs> your own. How you can help these cute faces. Plus, we are excited to have the Stims in Studio D this afternoon. They take the Delmarva Life stage a little bit later on. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.